Mushrooms are so cool. They're just endlessly out there in nature. They're ephemeral, they're ethereal. They, they come up, they disappear. They're beautiful colors, they're wonderful textures. It's a thing that's around us all the time. We're standing on mycelium. We're standing on the bodies of mushrooms right now, but we're not seeing the fruiting bodies right now. And that's, that's so cool to me that there's sort of hidden cryptic life all around us all the time. This is Gordon Walker. He's a biochemistry PhD, a wine and fermentation consultant, and he really likes fungi. What else we got back here? So this is a Dyer's polypore, Lactaria xanthodermis, a lexinum species. So there's one you stepped on. Oh, oh shit. Right there too. Oh, that's a lacaria, don't worry about that. I'm not sure this is a Pluteus. This is probably a Cortinarius. He's also like, kind of famous. His Instagram account, Fascinated by Fungi, has over 50,000 followers. He brought me to his favorite foraging spot two hours north of San Francisco to help me understand why a crop of new fungi-based meat startups could soon compete with established players like Impossible and beyond. I think there'll be a tipping point with our, our environment and our climate, and it's only going to be the ultra-rich that can afford steaks. I think the, the days of seeing cheap meat at Walmart and stuff are, are going to you know, go the way of the buffalo. Um, Fun, but <laughs> anyhow, uh, yeah, I, I think, and, and people are already opening up to plant-based alternatives, and mycoprotein is a, is a big part of that. Um, plants are inherently different from animals, right? Plants grow to the ground, they don't walk around, they're different. Fungi, however, are closer evolutionarily to, uh, to animals, and because of that, the amino acid profile of proteins and mushrooms is closer mm. to what we need than a plant would be. Is it safe to say that these companies, are, uh, these products that are currently on the market are better for the environment currently than they are for our actual health if you were to actually break it down? So yeah, I mean Impossible and Beyond, they make some great uh, plant-based alternatives to meat. What we're seeing with those things is those have been highly engineered food products, right? They're, they're plant protein and they're plant-based so they're sort of sustainable but I think the amino acid mixture just isn't there. So if you did nothing but eat those burgers every day, you probably would be no healthier than someone yeah. eating beef burgers every day. Right. Whereas if you're eating a lot of mushrooms, you're getting more protein from mushrooms, you're gonna have a balance of amino acids a little more similar to what your body actually needs. Mm -hmm. um, so I think in that sense, the, the mycoprotein movement is a, is a really um, sustainable and, and lofty goal that we can, you know, hopefully you all find something delicious out of too. Might be a little hot. You can, don't swallow it, but taste it. What will happen if I swallow it? Nothing, nothing terribly bad. 